I always get sad when I leave the Philippines, but uh, you know, at least we have a return ticket this time around. Previous times when I left the country, uh, I never had return tickets, so maybe it's gonna be a little bit different feeling this time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring these with me. I wear them on the plane and when we arrive in Iceland. I'll be the first ever wearing Spartans. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, we're going there, Kuya. Thank you. We're going there. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new video. We are here in Crimson Beach Resort in Mactan, one of our diving partners here in Cebu. And we're gonna enjoy the last day before we leave the Philippines. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll be back. We want to end the final day by doing a little bit of diving. I'm gonna use this camera. We have a little bit underwater. We want to practice that. I'm always trying to improve my underwater game because uh, this year later in September, we're gonna invest heavily in uh, underwater housing for our uh, main camera. So we'll be going to yeah one of these, the big ones in uh, Manila. So there's like a show, big underwater photography show in Manila. And at the same time in September, around six, seven, eight September, we're gonna have a meetup. So if you're in Manila, mark your calendar. We're gonna have uh, a good time somewhere. We'll find the location and announcement uh, when the time gets closer. All right, let's go in and uh, have some fun today. By the way, Crimson Beast Resort is insane. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Cause it will ricochet. I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet It will come back to you yeah. Let me tell you No, because my eyes are open Your words will keep bouncing away And even if you try guys I'm sorry if there's any wind noise but uh, phenomenal first dive and we're going out for the second one and we're gonna go just by here by the beach and we're gonna see if we can find some more crown of thorns we saw three or four of them out there and it's basically uh, animal there's like a plague to the coral reef. They eat the coral, so... They will call it virus in the ocean. It's the virus, so uh, there's uh, actually Cancer, I mean. a natural disaster happening now in Antique, where me and Shirley, we dive, dove uh, about one and a half year ago. And we, at that time, they were still trying to manage that problem, but it's, it's been escalated into a much worse... We, actually, might, when we come back to the Philippines after the Iceland trip, we might be going to Antique because we want to go there and help out a little bit. Because uh, that, uh, maybe throw up a that picture here. Disaster, I'll show you guys a picture here of that. So now you can see how insane it is right now. Anyways, so we're gonna go out now and we can see as well my friend Bussy is coming here on his sailboat. So we, you know, we can see that, guys. It's right there. Go first, let's do a second dive. Try to turn me into somebody else But it will ricochet I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet It will come back to me
Alright guys, we just enjoyed some beautiful dives here in Makatan Cebu and now we're joined by a very special guy, his name is Bussy and he has a unique record here in the Philippines, he's actually sailed from the furthest southern tip paddle, paddle, sorry, not, there's a difference between uh, sailing and paddle, so paddling, yes, from Cagayan, southern tip of uh, Mintana all the way up to northern Luzon in uh, Pagutput. How many days did that take you? Uh, aloha, uh, my name is Bazi and thank you Finn. And it took us 88 days to paddle the whole length of the Philippines. So every day at least we paddled 40 kilometers a day. So you have to wake up very early to start the day. You know? <laughs> Can you imagine? And it was during September uh, month of the year, which is a really windy time and can be a rough sea. So he did it pretty much at the toughest times. And uh, today he's going to showcase one of his boats is basically two bankas combined into one with a big sail in the center. So me, Bussy, Shirley and Alfred, we're gonna go uh, check out that. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. Now you might be wondering if we're sailing against the wind or sideways. The only thing that matters is the wind catching the, the sail catching the wind. And then we have to steer the boat because the sail drives the force into the boat and we just have to uh, uh, steer it. <laughs> the boat is gonna go down. No, we're done now, boy. I need to get We did not move. We're not moving. Okay, we're not moving. We're not moving now. Is it because you don't know how to aim to that that to that direction, right? If you maintain that direction. It goes that way, so you have to correct it by... Ah, okay. Pain, you need to... It's working out! It's working out, it's doing it I understand enough, I understand enough. Okay. If you're, if you're not steering it correctly, it's not gonna move. Fast learner. Fast learner, fast learner. Okay. Finn is fast, fast learner. learner. Now we're moving. <laughs> now we're moving. So, we, we've gone pretty far out now from Magdan Island. As you can see, <laughs> we've been going cruising around maybe uh, 15, 20, maybe 50 miles per hour. Yeah. And uh, in order for us to go back, we gotta do a U turn. So here we go. Making a U turn. Whoa. Okay, watch your head. Yeah, you gotta watch your head from the sail. Especially your fin. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> That's <laughs> like that. That was awesome. A huge history here regarding sailing. So uh, it's uh, really nice that, you know, Bussy is bringing that up again, keep that tradition going, and uh, preserve the culture of the sailors here in the Philippines. <laughs> no, I want to take a picture. Yes, uh, you always want picture, but you never post the. I want to say thank you to Bus. Uh, if you want to go see something more about his work, what he's building here, he's one of the first in the Philippines to be doing these canoes. It's only islandbus.com. B U Z Z. I also keep that down below in the description. Islandbus.com. Very cool stuff. Hey. What time I left? How was today? Well. You left, what, 10. 10 a.m.? And what time is it now? 8.30 p.m. Wow, what a long day. Yeah, it's so crazy. We did some shopping, right? Yay. We got a pizza for our last night. Uh-huh. Yeah, because in Iceland, the pizza is going to be so expensive. I know. Maybe uh, 2,000 pesos for uh, one pizza. Okay, we need to eat now. I'm hungry. <laughs> eat as much as we can before we go. Okay. <laughs> and we're packing of course a lot of stuff charging everything the gadgets oh what about my drone my bb yeah you gotta charge your drone yep. we're gonna bring two drone this time in case i crash one shilling bought a lot of stuff before the trip and what do you get because there's no such thing at night time there yeah it's 24 7 bright so, so i <laughs> got this the, what do you call this? And this one. Socks. A monkey sock. Oh, I have to wear socks in Iceland. I hate that. I like wearing... I'm gonna take my Spartans with me. Really? Yeah. Are you gonna do I'm that? I'm gonna wear my Spartans 
in Iceland. Are you sure? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Okay, first time. I can see we're bringing a very important uh, shirt right there with us. The Hawaiian. Yeah, I think that's very important, right? Yeah. I almost forgot one thing. What? <laughs> you wanna bring that with you? No. I remember last time it didn't take up that much space, so it's just, you know. <laughs> This is there. No, I'm not gonna right? bring this. No. It's not like, you know, my arm, you know, arm space, putting my arm. Stop it. No. <laughs> Stop You're it. You're gonna bring soap with you. You're gonna bring soap to the cleanest country in the world. A teaspoon. <laughs> what? These are my hiking shoes from Iceland. I actually brought them all the way around Asia with me and uh, from New Zealand. Mm -hmm then 10 countries in Asia and then to the Philippines and I uh, always kept it with me but I've actually I've never ever used them here in the Philippines to be honest I have no shoes here in the Philippines this is my only pair of shoes right now the Spartans we have no time to go shopping for shoes I'm gonna bring these with me I wear them on the plane and when we arrive in Iceland <laughs> good luck it's true <laughs> I'll be the first ever wearing Spartans all the way yeah all the way. 24 hours. I'm gonna drive the whole circle around Iceland, which is the size of Mindanao, 100,000 square kilometers. Okay, so I finished packed all these two big bags. All the things of Ben is here in the small bag with all the gadgets in it. And my things. And whoops, Ben is. What are you doing? Editing. Before. We have one and a half hour now to go. We need to get a grab within the time period and then we gotta go to the airport and catch the flight. So I'm still <laughs> editing this vlog actually. Are you gonna wear that to the airport? Why not? With the Coconut. sleepers. With the sleepers. Yeah, I'm gonna wear them the whole time in Iceland. <laughs> you know what we should do also when we get there? What? When we're eating with my uh, family. And my family is by the way really private so I'm not sure how much we can film with them but I'm still gonna do it and I want to do like a, maybe a, a shot of where we're eating I'll put the camera down somewhere and you know everyone's like really formal in Iceland you know we have to be very you know strict and well-mannered and all that and sit straight and no one can leave the table before everyone finish eating and all that mm -hmm. so I want to try something different with with my Icelandic family and we should try Shell and just start eating with you know has do a kinamut <laughs> and, and see the reaction <laughs> <laughs> we'll see um, you do you go first I'm gonna do it you do first I'm, gonna do it. I'm just gonna start eating with my hands like I do here in the Philippines yeah I prefer it by the way it's much easier and uh, more comfy and all that and you more feel the taste of, you know, like the taste of the food, yeah, right? Yeah, sharing the germs, you know, <laughs> it's really nice. We're gonna bring them dry mango, some souvenirs from Batanes. We uh, bought really nice souvenirs there that I'm gonna give to my dad. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of things, you know, I'm well prepared as you can see. I just had a, maybe I should have got a haircut, I'm not sure. Yeah. And there's a lot of things we want to do, of course, in Iceland. Uh, we want to see the Blue Lagoon, we're gonna try some really uh very local dishes we're gonna meet up with my maybe we're gonna interview my grandpa he's uh, american from the army so he actually i got a really nice message the other day from one of the uh, filipino followers that you know worked in the same place in iceland as my grandpa and my grandpa actually knew that person they, they used to drive to work in the army base you know 40 50 years ago it's an amazing story so i want to maybe talk a little showcase you guys my grandpa he's an amazing person that I look up to young brother he's in the in, he's in the national team of Iceland in basketball so he's uh, seriously good in basketball this Christmas my uh, Icelandic family is gonna come here so hopefully me and my little brother can do some basketball with the <laughs> local Filipinos actually I yeah. I asked Phil he's like super good you know I want to see him against the Filipinos I remember Filipinos are really good in basketball yeah but good my brother is in the national team in Iceland Baby, he's you... competing in Europe like he's wow. really good the main thing is we're gonna meet up with my family which is you know really private we'll showcase maybe uh, you know some clips in here and there showcase you my city Reykjavik Iceland and then we're gonna drive the whole circle 
around the country. I always get sad when I leave the Philippines, but uh, you know, at least we have a return ticket this time around. Previous times when I left the country, uh, I never had return tickets, so maybe it's gonna be a little bit different feeling this time. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be there for like almost three weeks, and uh, we're super excited. We have a lot of things coming up there as well when we get back to the Philippines. Okay, end the vlog now. End the vlog. You're, you're spoiling okay. them. You're spoiling <laughs> them. You're spoiling them. I hope this uh, Iceland series, you guys will enjoy that, see some of our culture because the difference between Iceland and Philippines is black and white. It's so different, everything in terms of culture, people, food, and nature. So uh, we're super excited to showcase some of that. And I'm excited to see I'm the only one who maybe a Filipina there. Not sure, maybe a dark skin. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Mostly people are blonde, blue eyes, very tall. And white. Yeah, of course, white. And we, we do like, we're, we're like Filipinos here. They do the whitening and Iceland we do the browning, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, come on, come All on. All right, guys. Like we'll see you guys. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the next vlog is going to be a couple of days because uh, we, we'll see how fast we edit in Iceland. So, see you guys there. Peace, Peace out. out.